the mackerel. What's up guys? Mark here. Today is July 27th and we're getting towards the end of summer. But yeah, it's still super hot here in Georgia. And today I'm craving some fish. So I'm gonna head to the local Chinese supermarket and see if I can find a fresh fish to chef up for y'all today. All right, let's go. Can I have three? And one more. Thank you. Yo, we're back at the crib. Today is what we got. Boston mackerel. All right, let's go. All right, today, this is what we're cooking. Boston mackerel. We got some Boston mackerel today. So this is an Atlantic mackerel, and there are two kinds. They're the ones that come from Norway, which are the most popular you find everywhere at the stores and the farmer's markets. And then there's the Boston mackerel, which are a little bit more rare to find at the farmer's markets. Now I've eaten the Norway mackerel many times, but I've never had the Boston mackerel. So I'm pretty excited to try it. It's $2.99 a pound. It's a little bit more expensive than the Norway mackerel. Now these mackerel aren't to be confused with the Spanish mackerel, which is a little bit different fish. The Atlantic mackerel tend to be way smaller. This is about as big as they get, but the Spanish mackerel can get a lot bigger. You also got the Indian mackerel. Then there's the horse mackerel that they'll have at some sushi restaurants. They do also have this mackerel at sushi restaurants. You might notice because of the pattern. And a lot of times that's shime saba. So it's mackerel that's been soaked in vinegar and actually soaking it in the vinegar cooks it a little bit. So that's a pretty popular way to eat this fish. I was trying to catch these in the last video when I went to South Africa. Mackerel are a very oily fish and they're really good for you because of that. Omega-3, 6s, all that good stuff. But today, with these mackerel, we're gonna make some mackerel chili. See how that is. And then we're also gonna just plain grill one of these fish as well. Maybe put some lime on it, see how that is. But first, let's clean these. So really fresh mackerel will still have slime on them. And they'll also still have scales on them if they're really fresh. Now these ones are fresh, but they're not like super fresh so they don't have as many scales or slime on it as much as a super fresh one would have first we're going to take out the head we're going to come behind pectoral fin come behind the pectoral fin and then next we're going to take this fin off just like that we're going to come up here scrape this out now we're gonna do the same thing behind the pectoral fin. Take off this fin. Come up the belly. Take off the guts. And then last one. And now let's wash out the blood, mine. Use your finger like this. Yeah, this dark red blood right here you want to get. Excuse me, All right, we got the fish nice and clean. All right, now let's fillet. So 
So mackerel have very soft meat. So if you can, you want to cut it with one stroke. So we're going to come from the belly. And then from the, the back. Come over the spine. Then go up. There we go. First fillet. The meat actually looks really good. Except for the belly meat because of the guts. The guts like soiled the belly meat, but the back meat and this meat looks really good. Second piece of meat. Yeah, same thing. One cut. Make a guideline. Back, little guideline. Honestly, with these ones, we can kind of just pull the rib bones. All right, last one. We're gonna take off the belly meat and the rib bones because it kind of got soiled by the guts. All right, we got the bellies trimmed, the rib bones out. Next, we gotta take out the pin bones in the middle. So we got some tweezers, they go from the top all the way to about right here. You feel them with your thumb. All right, and then right here, they don't really have any more bones. Boneless filet. So there's one. One of the first pin modes you definitely don't want to miss at an angle like this. Right, we're gonna cut some of these into pieces for the mackerel chili. Alrighty, we got our mackerel chili meat and our grilled mackerel meat. Oh, my taka in nagani. Oh, kawaii wa ne. Nan yatte no? Nan ga suitan daro. Saki kare sakana no niyoi ga shiten daro. Age chao ka. Omae ni saba no kirimi o. ほら。ほら。ほら。サバだよ。サバだよ。サバだよ。ほら。ほら。これ腹の肉。あ、ちょっと。ほら。これ。食べた。食べな。食べな。ほら。ほら、食べて。うわ。ちょっと。魚の
It does say best before 7 17 2023. So it's 7 27 23. But I think it'll be all right. But first, let's coat these in some salt and then some flour. Next, flour. Don't have any potato starch, so we're gonna need some flour. Close it. Give it a little shake. All right, next, green onion. I'm gonna cut off the bottom. A fire! A fire! Oil. Alright, into the hot oil. Mackerel. Our next grill. I'm throw on some salt and some garlic. On goes the mackerel. And y'all be careful when y'all are using butane stuff out in the direct sun because it can blow up if it gets too hot. So you can pour water on it like this. Keep it cool. All right, these are about ready to flip. Joshua. I think I'll get a spatula. These are nice and brown. Just take them out. Okay. Now we're gonna dump some of this oil. Pretty much all of it. All right, next we're gonna throw in some green onions. And then the mackerel. And then last but not least, just cook the Ajinomoto chili sauce. got this mackerel chili, this grilled mackerel. All right, first, let's try this mackerel chili. Mmm. Wow, that's really good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So yeah, that sauce is supposed to be used with shrimp, but it goes really well with mackerel as well. The mackerel's got that really oily, fishy flavor. It actually goes really good with chili sauce. Mmm. And right, now for this grilled mackerel, put a little bit of lime. Right, let's give it a try. Well, so that's actually drier than I thought it was gonna be. Maybe it's because I cooked it for too long. But normally even mackerel, if you cook it for a while, it's still such an oily fish that it's still like oily. But yeah, definitely still good. Just not as oily as I thought it would be. All right, I actually got a thing I have to go to. So I'm gonna save the rest of this for later. 
All right, now that I've tried this mackerel chili and this grilled mackerel, crystal geyser. We got the chef enough cup. Oh, fresh open. So good. The Boston mackerel. Maybe because they're wild caught, they're not as oily as the farm raised one from Norway, but they are pretty good. Definitely worth trying. It goes really good in the chili and also just goes good with salt and some lime. You can catch them in a lot of places with a sabiki rig, just like off the dock or something. And they also have them in many stores. It's pretty orthodox fish. You find it canned, pickled, stuff like that. But yeah, give it a try. Thanks for watching. Check out my Patreon. Check out the merch. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Boy!